Today I'm gonna to share with you guys a recipe for one of the keto basics that you should learn how to make to have in your keto arsenal, and that is fathead dough, also known as magic dough, also known as keto pizza dough. But this isn't just a straight keto pizza dough. You can actually use this dough for a lot of other things. I like to use it when I make corn dogs, also pizza pockets. I've made cinnamon rolls out of it as well too, and even just breadsticks. It's delicious as a breadstick. So very simple to make. It's just like a few, four simple ingredients. So let's get started, and I'm gonna show you how we make this. So like I said, to make this dough, you just need four ingredients. We need some almond flour, five ounces of almond flour, mozzarella cheese, which this is gonna be 10 ounces of mozzarella cheese in here. We need egg and we need baking powder. And this will help the dough rise a little bit, this along with the egg. And you wanna be precise on your ingredient measurements. I use a food scale when I measure out my mozzarella cheese and my almond flour, just because it is a precise ratio of 10, 10 ounces of mozzarella cheese to five ounces of almond flour. This recipe is very easy to make. It's basically made in the microwave and then you mix it all up, knead it out, roll it out, do whatever you need to do with it and you're either frying it or you're baking it in the oven. This keto dough actually can stay in the refrigerator too for um, probably about seven days or so, or you can freeze it for up to three months in a Ziploc bag that's airtight. So you can have pizza dough whenever you want it. So here I have our mozzarella cheese, and I've weighed it out so it's about 10 ounces, and we're gonna melt this in the microwave. We're gonna cook it at around 30 second intervals, maybe 45 second intervals, just to melt the cheese and stirring after each cycle in the microwave. So this looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna add in the egg and we're gonna mix it up with the electric mixer. And then we add in our dry ingredients, which again, it's five ounces of almond flour and it's one teaspoon of baking powder. Now that my dough is in this stage, I'm just going to knead it together just to combine all of those ingredients a little bit further. So you have a more uniform, smooth dough ball. It actually looks like a regular bread dough ball when we're done with it. So let's get started. You don't want to over knead it just because it can start to get a little bit too greasy. Those greases from the almond flour and the mozzarella cheese just start to pull away from each other, I've noticed, but this is looking just about perfect right here. You do have the option of wrapping this up in saran wrap and popping in the refrigerator for you know, a week or so until you want to use it, or it even keeps in the freezer in an airtight freezer bag for about three months or so. Or you can use this right away too, whatever you want to do. I'm gonna to happen to make pizza with it right now, but like I said, there's so many recipes out there. So go make some fathead dough. I want to see what you guys come up with. 